Good morning, I'm Avi, and I'm a student here at GMS. Today, I will talk to you about one of the Wing 180 classes and System 44 classes here at Golden Meadow. Throughout this video, you will learn about the scheduling and the program. So, let's hop into the video. This is one of the Read 180 classes and the System 44 classes here at Golden Meadow. So today, I'm in Mr. Sakunskaya's Read 180 classroom and S System 44 classrooms. And today, I will talk to her and a couple of our students about the program and how it runs. And at, towards the end of the video, I will give you a little tour of this classroom. Thanks. So here are a couple of her students working on the Read 180 program and SRI test. Now I'll be asking Mrs. Sakunskaya some questions. Throughout these questions, you you will know the answers. Probably some of your questions you have out there. So please pay attention. Thanks. I'm here with Mrs. Sakunskaya, and I'm going to be asking her some questions. So Mrs. Sakunskaya, how are Read 180 and System 44 the same? It's all about reading skills. We help in the whole program is to help students read, better understand, to help with vocabulary and spelling. So how are we 180 and System 44 different? So at first students have to come to System 44 if their lexile is not so big. So when they come to a certain point, so we move them to read 180. But sometimes kids can go forward, sometimes kids can graduate from System 44. And that's exciting because we have this year. Thank you. I'm going to show you now Mrs. Sakunskaya's library and how you can tell System 44 books from Read 180 books. So, like for instance, this is a S System 44 book. You can see how thin it is and it's, it has a little System 40 pages to be reading in Read 180. So, and it also tells you um, this and it says ing and it and like as Mrs. Sakunskaya told you, System 44 helps you with um, uh, parts of words as Read 180 um, helps you with the whole words and bigger passages. And so now, now I'm looking. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Sakunskaya's library is, filled, is divided by Read 180 books and System 44 books. So Read 180 books are right here. And then system for the whole books are right, are right here. And then so in so see Mrs. Sakunskaya's library is has read one eighty books divided by one, two, three, four, and that means I don't level. So so if you want let's uh, say uh two hundred to forty four hundred five thousand then you're in the level ones. So you, as you grow into your SOI test, then you will move up, and you see. And this is a Read 180 book. You can tell it it ha is thicker, and it says level three in it. But the way you would see it in system in Read 180, and it doesn't have that Read 180 symbol on the top, but you can tell it has a. It's a Read 180 book because. It's thicker and it has a lot more pages, more more for advanced readers, but still need a little help. Like in in the Read 180 program, they it's like this where you read more longer passages and and like the whole worlds. So that's the part of the library system 44 and the Read 180 library. Show you the postal that. Mrs. Sakunskaya has for Read 180 students. So, if you are going to be a Read 180 student next year, this, see this chart? It has level 1, 2, 3, and it says Read 180 Next Generation, the paperback books, and the, and then the books all in there are like arranged in level 1, 2, 3, or 4, so like, if your life cycle is really low, you'll be in the level ones, and then you go find the book you like in the level ones. But as you move on, you will grow, and your life cycle will change. 
Also in Weed 180, if you grow in, weed, in the Weed 180 program, Mr. Sakoon's career will bump you up a level. If you get, if you're done with level four, then you pass Weed 180. And then here are the independent weeding objectives. So you want to do one of the um, book projects that Mr. Sakunsky has in order to get a grade for independent reading. Independent reading is not like your. Now I'll be speaking with some students about how they like Read 180 and System 44. Today I'll be speaking with Mrs. Sakunskaya's success class and fifth period class. The System 44 or Read 180 experience here and how it's helping them, if it's helping them. How did you feel when you moved out of System 44 and went into Read 180? Thank you. So, what did you get? I get some presents, like books, notebooks, and a watch. This is a Kuntai has two System 44 classes and one Read 180 class, which is the period this year. But next year, she will have a lot more Read 180 classes. And if these people all go to Read 180, then she'll have uh, two Read 180 classes. Thank you. Helped me grow in my SLI test and helped me in Read 180. So I would like to say a big thank you to her. So I'm Abby and I'm in Read 180 classes. And this has been your tour of one of the Read 180 classes. Hello again, I'm Abby and I'm an eighth grader here at GMS. Welcome to part of this video. So, so part one was me showing you and giving a tour of one of the Read 180 teachers classroom. So now I'm going to be interviewing some kids in my period class which is third period Read 180. So let's hop into the video. My third period Read 180 class and my fellow Third period read 180 students. So here's a little video on the video. Yeah, let's not jump to this video. Oh, and we will work on the computer. So when you go back to the introduction, I will. So right now, in this read 180 period, I'm working on work writing an essay by breaking up into chunks. And right now, we're on the third chunk of the essay which is the conclusion and it's going to be about it's going to have all the it's going to be so before we started working on the chunks we had to fill in these notes and basically it's about you had to pick two literature or compare and contrast things so what I did was pick dreams and bad boys and then we had to explain whether we were going to use a t-chart or any type of diagrams and then we just had to write a little sentence about it like how you would see an objective like students or I will so and then after we did that um, notes page we worked on this chart and as you can see, it's divided up into four rows. We have a uh, title, literature, topic, main idea, quote from text, explain what it means, and it's. And then we had to write from the about how long, and then the um do things. So this is um the next thing we had to do before we work on the chunking part of the essay. And then this was the third thing we had to do before we did we were doing this um, part of the essay. So this is just a page that says we had to just fill out. Um, it has the introduction, uh, first, second, and third page. Do we call Street of Harlem? And it was about. Um, 
people who in the a long time ago who moved to the uh north from the south we want to we were we read a story in here about bad boy and that was about walter who did some bad stuff like um they were playing outside when they, without any super vision and then they had walter was climbing up this uh sewer pipe and then crazy johnny wanted to him to come down but walter did not listen so walter so crazy johnny got a little crazy and then walter got dragged by a car on the road and then so um hmm. oh yeah and then um hmm. oh and the huh and then oh, walter got dragged by a car and he did not he did not he got dragged by the car until he until the car stopped and then he got whips bruises and a lot of ouches on him and then he blamed it on his mom and his mom beat him with a stick and so that was bad boy in walter's perspective Talking about how I'm um, and them filling out their their charm for their essays. So here, here they are. So, now they just got done with their last part, now they're about to write the full thing, so, let's, so here is a little, So I'm going to be asking my phone period read 180 class some questions about what they are working on in small group. So let's hop in there. So what have you guys been working on? So what is the essay about? Like what? Like. Is it to persuade people on how, how, what's going on, what Holum is, or why people like it? So, what was the process to create these essays? Did you like like the story of Harlem? Okay. So so if so the notes that we took um how does how does that help you write your essays? Will this repel you in for, for writing an essay or paragraph in on iStep?
Thank you.